to Horford. Puts it up for two. This is at the rim. You've got to figure out how you can get a better quality shot and use your greatness to attract the second defender and find the open man. Thomas is unable to put it in off the glass. Tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket. To Horford. Tatum's looking for the screen to get himself open. Backing his man down. In the paint, Ingram the rebound. To Caldwell Polk. Tied up, has to make that pass. There's the putback, strong finish. And Boston calls time. They need to talk. And that kind of dunk makes an impression, Mike. He's letting people know he's down there. We have a substitution being made. Horford's trying to get down low. Three and a half gone by in the third. LA's down by four. Horford on the drive. Shoots it for two. Won't go. And the scoring drought goes over three minutes. Curling in. Ball for two. Let's it go. He puts it in. Forget all the hype, Jeff. Can Lonzo Ball be a big-time player? Absolutely. It comes down to two things, improvement and consistency. If he can do both of those things, he can be an absolute big-time game-changer for the L.A. Lakers because they will play unselfish basketball because of his giving nature. And the defense work with excellent ball movement. Rebound handled by Irving. Irving against Thomas. There's the he's running the entire floor. Irving follows with another shot. Ingram the rebound. To ball. Screen set nicely. Ingram fires away for two, in and out. Sends it to the corner. It'll count if it goes. Third quarter comes to an end. Fourth quarter coming up. The Lakers down by four. We'll have more Monday night NBA on ESPN after this break. Fourth quarter set to begin. It's been a defensive battle. Who's going to make the big buckets down the stretch? Big buckets, how about any bucket? This low, low scoring game has been a snooze fest. Come on, this is the NBA. Let's put the ball in the basket. With the runner. Oh, this is the inside shot. To Irving. Defense has to switch. Pretty fake, fools the defense. Oh, quick adjustment, now he gives it up. Nice move, just won't get it to drop. When you defend, you always have a chance to come back and win a game. To Randall. Wide open for three, that's good. A one point game.
puts it up for three. The kid is on the scoreboard for the first time in his NBA career, and he does it from long range. A lot of people see a great future for this player, Jeff. And I saw it first at the Drew League in L.A., Mike. He was on the floor, showed no fear, was very, very competitive. That's when I first noticed he had a big-time future. Coaches going to the bench right now and making some changes. Randall's trying for position in the paint. A good look for two. Oh, he knocks it down. Typically, that's not the shot you want the contested two. It worked out this time. Three minutes gone by in the fourth. Los Angeles down by two. Irving against Thomas. Terrific fake. Beats the defender. Collides with the defense and still banks it home. You're not winning late in a close game playing that type of defense, allowing the ball to go in a direct line drive right at the basket. To ball. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Ball knocked out. Oh, he gets the steal. Excellent defensive pressure. Gets into the paint. Backing his way down in the post. Gets a good look. Can't connect from close range. Some might question that shot right there. I like that shot. You have a great player who's a great shooter. I like the creativity. He just missed it. Looking to dominate down low. Oh, he loses it. Oh, he comes out with the steal. Oh, pretty move into the paint. Gets to the rim. Unable to flip it in. Hey, when you're going up against the great shooters in this league, you need to combat that with tenacity and passion. Tremendous defensive possession, forcing the miss against one of the great shooters in our league. To ball. Lopez is looking to post up down low. Let's it go. Can't get it to go from close range. And LA's called for the intentional foul. When you're down late in the fourth quarter of the game, you have to gamble and try to create some havoc. Here they fouled, but they're not in the penalty, so it's just going to result in a side out of bounds. Irving's using the screen, trying to get free. And there's the foul. They had to stop that clock. With about a half a minute to go, and you're up four, if you make both of these free throws, it totally alters your defensive strategy. You can just protect the three-point line because, really, the two-point shot won't hurt you. for two at the free throw line. The lead up to five. Oh, what a costly turnover. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? Had to do it there. They stopped the clock with the foul. And he connects on the first free throw. Some both. This game perhaps getting out of reach. It's up to seven. Time running out here in the fourth. There's a timeout.
And Luol Dang will get the inbound in here. Oh, no, he can't guard you from here. beyond the arc. Can't hit from long distance. Moves around the defender. Oh, sweet crossover. What a play from Kyrie Irving. That's it. They can start warming the bus up because this one is over. From three-point land. Wall's long-range jumper won't go. And that's it. The final buzzer goes. The final score is 27 to 18. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying good night. David Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Celtics could not have been more dominant in this game. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Boston Celtics. The Lakers seemed to give up on this game as it got more challenging. And it's games like this where veteran players can be so important. They've been through these types of blowouts, and they know what it takes to keep a locker room united. Game trap. Steals. And now, of course, the game stats. Player of the game. Kyrie Irving put up the kind of points that made him an easy choice for this award. He couldn't be stopped. And when he realized he was in his zone, he just took it to another level. And here's the shot chart telling its own story. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Here we go with the top three players. Number two. Number one. These are the upcoming games for the Los Angeles Lakers. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.